Hello, I'm Tilly and welcome to my kitchen. Today I've got a shopping haul and a lot of this stuff is for my prepping pantry. Some of it is for the weekly shop and some of it is for the prepping pantry. Now it's two different shops. Um, this is the Lidl's shop and then from this gap here, this is Home Bargains. So I'll take you through it all. Now in the Lidl's there are some price increases which I'll tell you all about from the last little shop that I did but surprisingly there's also a price decrease which was really nice to find when everything seems to be going up that there's some things are coming down. So I will take you through all that. Everything is priced up so it won't take too long. Now in one of my recent videos I did the 20 uh types of food that I have in my prepping pantry, like groups of food, and one of them was fats. And Twinkle Toes mentioned on that video about duck and goose fat at this time of year. Now I'd never meant I'd never thought about buying it in jars, which is great because it's got a really good shelf life. So that's best before the first 2024. So I thought that was a great idea. So thank you for that tip. Um, this obviously isn't beef. This obviously isn't duck or goose fat. It's beef dripping. But 99p and I shall be looking for the goose and duck fat too. So that's great. So I've got four of those for the prepping cupboard. Um, some savoury snacks. 99p. That's those sort of nibbles. Um, these are for the prepping pantry. These are all for prepping. Pearl barley, 69p for 500 grams. And soup and broth mix. I've got, so I've got two pearl barley. Four soup and broth mix, 500 grams, 79p each. These are great to have in the, the prepping store. Four of those. Um, morning coffee biscuits because my daughter and I was talking about morning coffee biscuits, that you can't have rich tea in coffee. It doesn't work, so you've got to have morning coffee. And we've not had them for ages, so when I saw them, I thought, oh, we'll, we'll get those. <laughs> um, kitchen foil. Now, it's not the thickest of kitchen foil. It's 10 metres, and it's it's quite a thin one, but it's only pound twenty nine, and this is the extra white stuff. So £1.29, even though it's not the best of qualities, it's still perfectly usable. And that's not a bad price at all. Now this we haven't tried before. Um, it's gammon ham, 455 grams for £2.69. Bigger pack, better value apparently. So... We're going to try that one out. We haven't tried it yet. Uh, I, we can try it out. Um, at the very worst, I'm not expecting it to be the greatest, but at the very worst, we can cut it up and use it in um, a carbonara. So we can always make a carbonara or something similar with it. So we're going to test that one. If it's any good, if we like it, we'll possibly get some more of those. So these um, rum, mini rum truffle cakes, uh, we all just love these. All four of us love these. So 84p for nice little treats. Two packs of those. Now the toilet rolls, um, you may know I'm always on the hunt for the best toilet rolls. And this is one of the, the types of brands that we get quite regularly. Um, Home Bargains and it's the Nikki brand. £5.49. For 18 rolls, three ply, and it's it's good good quality. It's good quality toilet roll. So we always get that when we head over to Home Bargains. Uh, the fajita kit, £1.69. It just makes a quick and easy meal when we've got leftover chicken. Um, so I roast a, a, a full chicken, and whatever we have left, I'll make up with the fajita kits. It's just handy to have those in the shelf, on the shelf in the pantry. Now, the smash is not something I usually get. But again, after a recent video, Andy Layton said he uses it for um, thickening soups and stews, which I thought was a great idea. So I've got that for thickening soups and stews and also for making 
um, fish cakes. And that was two pound nine for 360 grams. So also for the fish cakes, I use um, tinned mackerel or pilchards. And I mix that with tuna um, to make fish cakes. Now I've, I make my own breadcrumbs, which I put the dried bread on top of our uh, wood burning stove in a big pan, dry it all out, make breadcrumbs. And I use the breadcrumbs for one of the things is for make my fish cakes. So pilchards in brine and mackerel in brine, and they was 99p each. And then we've got some chili garlic salt, which I haven't used before. I haven't used this particular one before. £1.69, so that's to test that out. It's a nice big one, and it's in a pepper mill. It's in a, a mill. Uh, £1.69. Little snacks for garlic and herb mini snacks. 99p. That's not bad, is it? And that's 250 grams. The chunky salsa, £1.49. That's to go with the fajitas. A garlic mayo, this is one that we really like, £1.9. And it's really a reasonable price. And with this is something we haven't tried before either, so I shall be trying this out. Chinese salt and chilli pepper seasoning, £1.29. I'm always looking for new seasonings and spices and all that sort of thing to test out. So £1.29, and that is 275 grams. And then we've got some zip and see, tip and zip <laughs> bags. These are the, the soup ones that stand up, you put the liquids in. Uh, 99p for eight. And I got two packs of those. So that lot was £37.13, the home bargains lot. Now we'll get on to the Lidl's. And this Lidl's lot was £50.29. And 29p. So a total of the two shops was £87.42. So we've got our tea, green tea. I got six of those because some of these are going in the prepping pantry. So 59p for 40 tea bags times six of those. Uh, the tomato passata at £1.35. Now I had a few people telling me that you can't actually store um, tomato stuff in tins for very long time, certainly not past much or much past the use by date because it can burst out the tins. I didn't know that, so I'm now moving on to buying more of the jarred stuff instead of tinned. So that's something to remember in our prepping pantries because that, I, I didn't know that at all. So that's a good tip. So now uh, I've got plenty of tomatoes. I will get them used up, hopefully they won't all burst. And, and also pineapple does the same thing. So you've got to watch your fruit, tin fruit and things like that. So I'm moving now on to buying more of the jarred stuff. Um, speaking of which, we've got tomato and herb pasta sauce, 39p. This is brilliant stuff. It's just cheap, cheap and simple. So it's the Simply brand. Um, it's just easy to just to chuck it in to just uh, add a bit more flavour and a bit more tomato, a bit more healthy stuff into whatever you're cooking, whether it's soups, stews, um, pasta sauces or whatever. So six of those, and some of those are for the store. Now this I haven't seen in Lidl's for a long time. It's the Fresh Owner and the Fresh Owner brand is great. And it's a fruit cocktail in grape juice. And it's a really nice fruit cocktail. So when I saw that, I had to get six of those and they're 79p each. So six of those, um, some to use now and some for the store. These are to test because I haven't tried these before. And they're meatballs in tomato sauce and meatballs in rich gravy. But these are actually chicken, which I didn't realise when I bought them. I didn't look that closely at them. But when I come to look at the receipt, it says chicken meatballs. And then look at the ingredients and it says chicken meatballs in gravy. <laughs> so 
I'm going to test these out, or we're going to test these out. They're 63p each, and if we like them, we'll get some more. I'm not usually a fan of bought meat balls by any stretch, not tinned ones or frozen ones. That never, never done very well with those. I like to make my own, but in a pinch, if things go wrong and we can't get meats and things, then they're okay. They're okay to use. So corned beef, the Newgate brand, which is really good, £1.85. Now, the coconut milk, this fresh owner coconut milk, if you can get it, is really, really good because it's got a high coconut extract, 91% coconut extract. Um, and not, they don't all have 91% or anything like that. Now, it's often sometimes 30 some 37 percent something like that or 60 percent but this is a really good one if you can get hold of it it's really really hard to get hold of now when i got these there was only two on the shelf this tin is a bit dented but the there was another four on the shelf but the tins was completely dented like chopped in half uh, they were still sealed and everything obviously but they were so badly dented. I don't, I wouldn't have bought them. Well, obviously I didn't buy them. Now, when I got them home and I realized the different colors on the top and also the different colors of the, the labels are slightly different colors. And I thought, um, oh, but maybe I could look over the ingredients and see if anything's changed. Now, I don't know which is the oldest one, but when you look at the ingredients, the ingredients are different. So that one is 91% coconut extract, water stabilizer and water stabilizer and guar gum. Now this one has got a lot more different stuff in it. That's 94% coconut extract and it's got different things in it as well. So I don't know which is the newest one. Um, 69p each so I'll be looking out for those but if you can get hold of this it is good it is the good stuff but I've only ever ha managed to get hold of this once before so which is why I grabbed those two now the coconut pure coconut cream the creamed coconut 200 grams 89p these are great for using in, I usually uh, use them for curries. They're really, really good. Uh, gravy granules, the chicken gravy granules, uh, 95p. That's going in the store. These are going in the store as well. Um, the tomato puree. Now, this is one of the things that's gone up. Uh, check my list. It was 39p. Um, on my last shop and now it's 43p so that's gone up I got two of those um, this sweet corn has gone up it's really nice sweet corn so I've got all my notes on the top of it so it's £1.55 now it was £1.39 on the last shop and on the 15th of October shop it was £1.25 so it's gone up from the 4th of October, a rise of 30p. That's a big rise in such a short time. So the last shop, it was £1.39, and then this shop, £1.59. That's a big jump, isn't it? So I've got one of those in. That's going in the store. Um, hopefully they're not going to go up any further, but most things are going up. However... This is one of the things that has gone down. The Dan Pack was two, uh, it's £2.19, it was £2.35, and it's been £2.35 for a long time. So I was really surprised that it was £2.19. Now, unfortunately, I would have got more of this if I'd have known, um, but my husband was the one that put this in the trolley, and he doesn't check the prices the same as I do. So um, he didn't realise. Now it is, it is uh, just looking for the, the weight, it is 500 grams, so the weight hasn't gone down at all. 
Um, so next time, if it's still at the same price, I'll be getting more of that at £2.19. So was £2.35. Always oh, so nice to see things coming down. Uh, the nice or nice biscuits have gone up. Uh, the, they were 45p and they're now 49p. So they have gone up. Uh, we've got some monkey nuts, roasted monkey nuts, £1.59. Or 375 grams. Uh, a pineapple, it's not a hugely big one, medium size, I'd say, 89p, but we do like fresh pineapple. Now, uh, the butter, £1.99. So I've got three of those. I've got two of the unsalted ones to make some more ghee because I use unsalted butter to make the ghee and one salted because I like the salted butter when we have it on bread and crumpets and things like that. So we've got fruit and nut mix, 55p for 200 grams. We haven't actually tried this fruit and nut mix. Um, so that's why I got just one of those. We want to test them out. However, the roasted and salted cashews, 73p, are so, so nice. 125 grams. Now, to me, these are the nicest ones. They're not too salty, uh, which is why I like them. They, they are really nice. So I got three packs of those um, because we all really like them. We've got, we're getting through a lot of potatoes now. Now there's the four adults in the house. So this bag of potatoes, which is 7.5 grams, was £2.99. And, sorry about the noise. That's what the potatoes look like. They look pretty good. So £2.99. Hopefully they'll last us a little while at least. Now, the final thing is this smoked ham. Um, it is, each piece is individually priced. And this piece was £7.78. Now, that says £8.49 a kilo per kilo. But on the receipt, it said £7.99 a kilo. So, haven't worked it out if it's correct price, which, which one is the correct price. So... Presumably, there has been a price change on that just recently. So that's um, the reason I got a ham like this. It works out a lot cheaper to buy it like this than to buy slices. Um, that will last us a goodly while and I can make quite a few meals out of that. So that's great. So that is the, our total shopping for what we got from Lidl's and Home Bargains and a total of £87.42. and pence. Some of it, like I say, is for the prepping and some of it is for our weekly shop. So I do hope that was helpful for you. It gives you some idea of what the prices are doing at the moment and what we can get in our local area. Or oh, one point to note, not that I needed any eggs, but there, are, there was not a single egg on the shelf in Lidl's. Not a single egg. So... Um, other people have said in different areas that they don't have a problem. They've got plenty of eggs. But in Lincoln, there are no eggs in the, um, the Lidl's that I went in. Not a single one. So I hope that was helpful for you. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.